Croatia. Oh, actually, I'm on Kirk Island in Croatia. In a very quiet place. I mean... <laughs> you really can't get better than this. Right, hopefully this is recording. God damn. Not easy to set up, I tell you. Now it should be working. Right. Oh yeah. Alright, welcome to the next story. So, this one's going to be about Croatia, as you've already seen by the title. And I'm just going to simply talk to you about the routes that I, I took, um, the people, landscape, and just show you some of the footage. Um, and this is kind of like a series. I have other videos online of me going through these other countries, and I'm splitting them through countries because it's easier to kind of categorize the area. Because um, if I said like all of the United States, for example, that's quite vast. So everyone splits it into a state, for example, if they're talking about state. Same thing with Europe. So I began up uh, in the, the west of Croatia and I came in from Slovenia. Uh, it's going to be a very short video, that one, uh, but definitely stay um, in tune for that one. Um, and then I went down to through Rijeka. And my original plan was, my, was to uh, turn around right there and head all the way up north to Norway. I met a family up in the north in Croatia uh, and I was just about to go to Hungary the next day or something. And I was just having a miserable time because the area there for me was just super depressing. The people I met were awesome and I, I was very grateful to meet all of them. Um, but the, the area was just not Croatia, the, 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 you know, as it's known for, for its coastline. Um, so I turned around because this family said to me, go south, you won't regret it. And it was amazing. Um, it's like these massive rocks are just sticking through the ground, coming out of the, of the sea. It's just, it's incredible. Highly recommend it to go and see that. And the road just, follows the, the coast beautifully, absolutely beautifully, especially around Karlovac, I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong. Uh, and then I just continued south through all of the coast, um, down all the way to Dubrovnik. Uh, I did pass a tiny bit of Bosnia again, um, which I might make a video about, but yeah, I literally just hopped into Bosnia for Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, but for not for very long. But you have to also remember that the coastline is very different to the north of Croatia because it's kind of like farmland up there and then you get the mountains and then you get the coastline and it's all stunning it's all amazing um, and it has gone through the war so there are some sections where there are mines and stuff like this if you're camping um, and it is quite difficult to find hosts but if you're along the coastline you'll be fine honestly though I recommend just going through all of the coastline and around March to April because that's the time where there's less people but it is colder but the sun is kind of out so it's you'll see by the via the footage that it's not as green as it could be in summer but it's less crowded so the coastline is a lot more well less crowded the islands are also awesome I think you should go and see all of them because they're so cool I only visited one um, and anyway, that, that's basically it. Uh, that is my short commentary on the story through Croatia with obviously my bike. Um, I'll be posting a lot more of these. Definitely stay tuned for them because I've got a lot more countries to mention. Um, I do apologize if sometimes the footage isn't the best, but you know, I just had a cheap camera at the time and you know, I think that the story is gonna make up for that. You know, so we'll see. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.